Hi, can I get a large uh, chicken salad? Yeah, I'll get a large strawberry lemonade and 100 chicken nuggets. Over sneaky for today's video, but I do not want any of these guys messing with me because I am only eating my friend's leftovers for 24 hours and this is like my morning snack. I have situated myself downstairs in the basement completely away from everybody else in the house just in case I need to talk to you guys because I don't want anybody else hearing me or even knowing that I'm filming this video. I'm currently in Ottawa, Canada. For those of you guys who don't really know- Ottawa? Derek, I think we discussed in the last video that you are going to Japan because you got to 80,000 Oh, you're not gonna take this seriously, Derek? Okay, well, I'm just gonna grab your wallet right here and we're gonna do this. We're gonna go over here, boom, bada bing, and you are all booked and ready to go. Yeah, that's right. Don't mess with me, Derek. And if this video can get to 90,000 likes, Derek will only be living off vending machine foods for, let's say, 48 hours in Japan. I know he would love to do that. So subscribe if you are new, join the D Squad, and let's get right into this video. Okay, he's done. But I, you know, I've learned to just accept the fact that when he's done, I can- Actually, Derek, I'm not done. I have one- You guys know in my videos, I eat a lot of food, and some people say that I am wasting the food by just consuming it to the point where I am in pain, and I just don't enjoy it whatsoever. So I'm basically giving myself diarrhea for views. Um... Which I don't see what the problem is. But today I have decided I am not going to waste a single piece of food. I'm not even going to be ordering my own food. I'm only going to be eating what my friends don't eat in order to, you know, be different. We're trying to follow the motto of do good, die great. You guys can't really... <laughs> right there. That's what we're trying to do. And me shoving a half pound of meat from Arby's that oddly looks like, um, <laughs> like something that's not a sandwich. But it's something else that I want to eat. <laughs> am I <laughs> I have told three of my friends that live in this house that are YouTubers that today I need them to help me film. And that I'm filming a sort of letting my friends decide what they eat type of video where we just chill in my car and they pick what they want to eat. What they don't know is that I am only going to be eating whatever they don't finish. That's why I don't normally eat Jad's peanut butter crust. So our first meal is breakfast. This is not, this is just my morning snack because I'm trying, I'm gonna try whatever I can do because these guys eat a lot and they usually don't leave anything, especially Guy or Dr. Hobbs because that is who we are going with for breakfast. And he is from Lebanon and he grew up knowing that he has to finish all of his food and never waste anything. So I told him to wake up at 9.30, it is now 9.43, so he is definitely waiting for me. So let's go grab him and get breakfast and see what we're gonna eat because I am only eating leftovers for 24 entire this is what I do when I'm on vacation. All right, guys, we are now in the car with a unfamiliar face to you guys. Do you want to quickly introduce yourself? I, they might be familiar with my face, my face all over the internet. Oh, and it's a really big deal for me. I know I'm not as big as Derek Gerard. It's my dream to become like Derek Gerard one day, so. Oh, and if you could hit me with that um, e-transfer for the collab before or after we <clears throat> eat. After, but don't mention that in the video. They call me Dr. Hobbs. That's my name on YouTube, Dr. Hobbs. The best doctor on the internet, okay? Can you name one better doctor? On the internet. I, the thing is, if you're a real doctor, yeah, can you take a look at this thing? Yeah. So this thing, um, you're born with it. You guys, I'm trying to become a doctor. You know, I'm still, I'm still learning how to become the real doctor. Who's your favorite doctor on YouTube? There's dude. Because if anybody's a doctor, they're making money. They're not making YouTube videos. They don't need to. Okay, you're not getting. The point is, I'm your favorite doctor. The best doctor on the internet. You guys, I'm trying to become a doctor. The point is, I'm your favorite doctor. And he's actually super close to 100,000 subscribers. And I know the D Squad loves being a part of things before they're huge. He's only 99,990 away. I think he just hit 10 subscribers, right? I have the same personalities. And actually, no, no. speaking of personalities, he is like somewhat of a prankster. You guys know me. I, I was growing up, I was such a nice kid. <laughs> 
Like you're was still a nice kid. Like it didn't change. That, well, I'm that, not a kid. I'm an adult. I'm, an adult I'm your kid. dad. Sometimes you call me daddy, and I don't. It's kind of weird, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff I do to get more subscribers. <laughs> He was telling me this story off camera. He told me earlier he peed in a bottle and fed it to his teacher. Okay, 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 okay. If you say it like that, it sounds so mean. But if you say it, okay, <laughs> That's what happened? Okay, okay, the, the, the story goes. I was in grade 11. And you know, in grade 11, you're trying to be the most popular kid in high school. We had this one prof. He always drinks pineapple juice before the class starts. So I analyzed the bottle. I bought the same bottle. I emptied the bottle. And then I peed in it, and I, I took, I went home, put the peas in the refrigerator, made sure it's cold overnight. Went back to school the next day, put it on his desk. He goes the next day, he opens, like he he comes in. Everyone knows in my class that that's pee, and then that's wait. Why would you tell everybody you're doing this? Because I want them to know. Oh, that's the gee gee did that gee did. And he sees the bottle there. He's like, oh, who's that generous person that got me pineapple juice? Open my bottle, and right away starts drinking. He swallows. <laughs> he swallows, and he he feels sweet. So he looks at it. He's like. What is that? And then he smells it, and then he takes another. Uh, bro, wh while he's smelling it, he takes another. Like he smells, and then goes like oh, this, what? and then he knows it's B. And then he swings the bar and goes on a girl in front of him. And this girl was like one of my friends. She got full of B. All my pee are on her. But he needs some food. It's breakfast time, and today I'm treating my friends to breakfast. We'll see you guys with the food and some story about a cake that got him expelled. Hey, right now, I want you guys to leave what you think Guy did to this cake in the uh, comment section down below. Hey, leave your Instagram, and if you get it right, I will follow you. I follow, follow you too. Yeah, okay. I promise. He's talking about cake. He's talking about the dessert. He's not talking about the, you know, the that kind of. I hope you're not talking about the back kind of cake. You know? I don't even know what, what that means, but you know when you slap a girl's cake. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go get McDonald's! Is it filming? Yep. Opening up for you. Hi, can I have um, um, a sausage egg McMuffin uh, as a meal? Like with a hash brown. Uh, can I have a triple triple? Can the triple triple be, uh, be large? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, just whatever the person behind me is getting. <laughs> Are you not getting no food? Nothing? You're not gonna be eating? No, I ate before I before we started. I ate. look at that hash brown. Oh have, my god! Have you ever did ASMR on your channel? No, because I don't. No, please, I don't want to lose subscribers. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he was sipping on his coffee for the entire ride. Can you please not touch my coffee? Thank you. But yeah, and the egg McMuffin, sausage egg McMuffin. Oh, they get. They give you sausage? I always say it's not a trip to McDonald's if they don't mess up your order somehow. I like McDonald's breakfast. It's always hit or miss. Like, it's either gonna be amazing or not that good. That's the thing about McDonald's breakfast. I worked at McDonald's for four years. You make, make some money. Yeah, I lose some oh, money. Did you get some ketchup? No. This is nasty, bro. What's nasty? The egg. I don't know. It's maybe undercooked or something. I don't know. Do you know the yellow? The yeah. yolk? It's too. Chewy, so yeah, just eat the sausage and yeah, let's do that. Okay, you wanna hear story time now or no? Sorry, no, no. yeah, yeah, story time. Every section has to bring a cake or something to the school. The principal have to cut it and try in front of everyone. I was section B, so in section C, there was a guy who owns the biggest, like, multi millionaire, big, big, big bakery factory in the Middle East. And what I did, I got this idea, I told my whole class again because I want to be the popular <laughs> every, kid. Every time, bro. What I did is, we went to a rubber company, got this like a rubber piece that looks exactly like the cake, like a piece. I told my mom to get some stuff to decorate the rubber thing. So my mom helped us in this. So she painted the whole cake in Nutella. Like it's not <laughs> like I'm not I didn't tell my mom I'm pranking my whole school. So I'm like just I'm trying to do this cake. So like, you said so you tell your entire class but not your mom. Yeah, because my mom was gonna slap my face. Okay, I mean, okay, what okay. are you doing? He goes to section A, cuts their cake, it's a small little cake, he eats it. I'm section B and remember, section C has the best cake, like it's actually a legit cake that he paid so much money to do so he comes to our cake he ha holds the knife it's a big knife as soon as he went in the knife bounced and the, the rubber poof, like it got some i don't know what happened to this after like he's so mad he goes to the cake number c he thought it's a prank too and the guy put so much effort in his oh, cake no! so he holds the cake and he tosses it everywhere like he, he just kicked the thing the whole cake goes on the floor every fruit bro he had so much time put on this cake he looked at the guy that actually made the cake the guy's crying <laughs> Literally oh crying. God, dude. I, you, you might have hated school because you made it harder for yourself by doing all these pranks. Like, I was a nice kid. <laughs> I didn't do anything bad, so school was just an easy ride for me. The pranks were a, like a getaway for me to enjoy school. Alright, 
I'll see you inside? Yeah, I'm gonna grab camera. All right, and then I will meet you in there. Thanks for having me, What was wrong with the egg? What was wrong with the egg, huh, Gee? I thought you know Lebanese people were supposed to finish all their food all the time, not leave some dust to freaking egg! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I am so hungry. That smelled so good. The coffee. He got a triple triple, which is kind of insulting to anybody out there who likes coffee. Three creams and three sugars. Do you want some coffee with your freaking candy drink? I'm hungry. So in the bag here we have. Oh my god. Thanks for putting the receipt in there as well, Guy. It's gonna add some nice seasoning onto this. This. Ah. Oh! This is my breakfast. What was wrong with the egg? Was there something really? That's not an egg. I gotta eat this and get inside before Guy starts wondering what I'm doing because I don't want him to tell Ryan or Jad or anybody else that I am filming this video because I know they'll mess with me. Okay, nice McDonald's egg that has a nice bite taken out of it. Oh, I don't want to eat this, but the thing is, I don't know what other what other leftovers are there gonna be until lunchtime. I need some sort of protein, or if, if this, I don't know what McDonald's eggs. Maybe they don't have protein because I don't even think this is a real. I'm stalling, let me just... What kind of chicken did they get this egg from, man? Is there anything in here? Okay, we have literally like a single drop of coffee. So that right there was my breakfast. Oh, no. <laughs> There's one little piece of egg left. There was a shell. There was a... I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna actually puke. In a couple hours, I'm going to get lunch with Ryan, but I really don't think anybody ever gets coffee for lunch, so the chances of me getting coffee based on what these guys are ordering is out the window. When I'm at home, I need coffee, but when I'm staying somewhere else where there's a three hour time difference and I'm with, staying in a house with six dudes who don't, never clean the toilet seat, I need. <laughs> After I dropped off Guy, I went over to Tim Hortons and I picked up three extra large double doubles. And I have these right here, and I love coffee but I can hardly ever finish an extra large from Tim Hortons. I can't imagine giving this to somebody who doesn't drink coffee very often because they're probably gonna have some leftovers. So I'm gonna first put on my sneakily filming shirt that allows me to film people without them knowing. And I'm gonna go over and hand a coffee to Ryan, Guy, and Jad just as a nice act of kindness from a friend. So I'm gonna wait a couple hours to see if any of them don't finish their coffee, but in the meantime, I'm gonna try and get a snack. So I wouldn't necessarily call that mission a success, but I also wouldn't necessarily call it a failure. So I um, crept my way upstairs and I made my way into the kitchen because I wanted to check the fridge to see if there were any leftovers in there. But when I opened the fridge, I, I've never seen a more full fridge in my life. I've also never been intimidated by what's inside a fridge because at home, my fridge is always empty because I'm a pig. But here, guys do meal prep, they have vegetables and stuff. So I quickly closed it and decided to look on elsewhere within the kitchen. I'm never gonna, no, we're not doing garbage ever again. That was a one-time thing. I turned and looked around and stumbled onto this piece of pita bread that had been half eaten. You might think, Derek, you should probably pass up on that because you don't know how long that's been there. And that is why there is breadcrumbs in my pocket right now. This is gonna be my snack before I head out to lunch with Ryan. Hopefully this hasn't been on the counter for a couple days. Okay. Oh my. Okay, I've never had pita bread without hummus or something, especially pita bread that has been on the counter for an undisclosed amount of time, but this clip is now 10 minutes longer than it should be because that's how long it took me to chew this. So I will cut back when I see if there are any coffees left for me to drink so I can wash this down with something. Okay, it is just about to be lunch with Ryan. First we went and checked Jad's outside and that one was completely empty. Next I went into Ryan's room while he was in the bathroom, checked his coffee and his too was completely empty. It was looking like Derek was gonna go the entire day with no coffee, but I went and checked Cup, the guy who I forgot had already gotten coffee with his breakfast and he had left me like an eighth of a cup Not enough for you to even see but it is still something so now I can eat my pita bread wash it down with this little bit of coffee That's gonna give me enough juice to get through a little bit more of the day of only eating leftovers I'm gonna complete this and then head up and grab Ryan and head out to lunch <laughs> All right, you guys, it is now lunchtime and we are here with the international man of love. Swayze Baby's in the building, man. What up, ladies and gentlemen? You've been in one, two videos, right? I've been in a couple. I've never been in a, a Ryan Swayze video. 
other than today's video, so go check that out. But we also missed you. Derek Gerard is back. For today's video, I'm taking my friends to get food. Ryan loves Wendy's, you already know. What, what it's a beautiful want? thing. No, that's Burger King. Because <laughs> Ryan is here, and it's a well-known thing that I am single. Oh, And I don't man. think I've ever... For, been, been for years. About a couple years now, we're moving on. Like, it's just... But it's he's about, so busy with work I'm, and yeah, stuff, I'm, that's why. I'm too busy. <laughs> Game seven, okay? We we could have won. This video will be out after game seven. So let's get oh my both, god. let's get both reactions. Oh my god, oh my god. Toronto's oh just won game seven. <laughs> let's go, baby! Rap is all day. Okay, now Toronto lost game seven. I'm gonna unlock the door so you can jump out. What I did is I asked you guys on Instagram to ask a mm. love a professional love guru some relationship questions. Got out Alex with two X's dot Rodriguez dot O four. I like a girl, but she has a boyfriend. If you're going after a girl who has a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I would move continue on to, the next to talk to her and keep sliding in. Kobe doesn't hit all of his shots, but he keeps shooting. You can shoot your shot, just like you know. But if she has a boyfriend, be respectful and only message on Wednesdays. Abba dot Sarah. How can Derek find Mrs. Wright? Um, I, um, I saw that. I mean, I kind of um, screenshot that one because I actually needed the help. So, um, <laughs> it's like what when things aren't just working out, you should just give up. You know, just in life. What the? If what you, happened to you, shoot your shot? Oh. No, but it's for you. Like you're not, you're not scoring. Sliding his DMs. There's no, a bunch of no, you. no. Shoot your shot. Because if they're fans, then you already have so much no, content. That's not right. <laughs> so they know so much about you, and then you get to learn. So then you're learning and learning, and with relationships okay, comes a lot of learning. Oh, uh, Toronto just won. The, it's game seven. Let's go, baby. All right, we are at Wendy's, and just like for Gee at the beginning, uh, lunch now is on me, Ryan. So you can get whatever you want for lunch. How much can I get for you? Hi, can I get a large uh, chicken salad? Uh, uh, Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar salad. Yeah, I'll get a large strawberry lemonade and a hundred chicken nuggets. Are you hungry? <laughs> Are you hungry? You're, uh, hungry. Vap! Hundred nugget challenge. Give me a vap. 100 nugget challenge, mukbang. I'll give you a keyword, um, relationship advice, comma. Oh, we're vibing. You have to park, of course. We'll Bye. See you salad. Thank you, salad. You have, have park, Ryan has all the food he, his heart desires. I love this strawberry lemonade. That is so big, bro. Like, is that bigger than my head? Right now, oh my. Holy shit. What the hell was that? Dude, you're gonna get sick. <coughs> How are you gonna eat 100 oh. nuggets with no drink? I did it, I thought we were muck banging, you know? <laughs> we could sit here and eat a couple nuggets. Muck bang is you eat all the food. No. What are we gonna do with these nuggets? <laughs> Save them for later. It's a vibe. What you know. isn't a vibe for you? <laughs> okay, Ryan is at one little bite of his salad left. On that note, we're gonna get to the last question, which is from Claudia Trebino, who says, can you show us how to suck? No, okay. no more that. That was enough. <laughs> Thanks for your question. We actually probably have a little bit more time to answer questions because you should probably start tackling the nuggets. You have to eat some of the nuggets. <laughs> I spent that much money. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> I'll get one nugget. Oh my. What? Bro. We're giving relationship advice and there is a heart nugget. All right guys, so that was the 100 chicken nugget mukbang. Thank you guys so much. No. Swayze the, the nuggets out. are not, the nuggets no, are not out. done. There are two bags <laughs> of nuggets in my car that I'm on a diet. The inside, Ryan. I have 100. <laughs> Why did I? I wish this was some sort of joke, but there are 100 chicken nuggets. At least they have. They gave me one of each sauce. That's, that's gonna be fun. Bean sour. We have barbecue. We have a hundred. <laughs> I'm hungry and I wanted something to eat, but I didn't think it was. How do this isn't gonna be possible? We have bag number one right here. We have nuggets and a bunch of sauce. And we have bag number two right here. Nuggets and a bunch of sauce. No napkins. It's baby. You might want to throw a Wendy. I might need to call her. We have here of just a giant cup of ice. There's no way I'm even gonna be able to touch a hundred nuggets with no drink. So I'm gonna, oh, okay, here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start the car and we're gonna blast the heat. So maybe the ice will melt and I will have some, come on. Don't forget to go to Ryan's channel, guys. Link is in the description down below. That. I guess we'll start eating these nuggets now. I 
I know the first couple are gonna be delicious, but once we get into, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 45, 56, 80, 100. <laughs> Let's see if we got any water. Nope, absolutely nothing. Does the sauce count as part of this challenge? I know every single one of you is saying yes, but I'm really not about to just, okay, I guess I'll. Uh, oh, God, no, please. I have a hundred chicken nuggets in front of me because these were the leftovers from Ryan. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat a hundred, but we're gonna try. I'm so hot that I'm hoping my forehead will melt some of the ice. I've had like three sips of water! It is so hot in here, I don't know if you guys can see the forehead that's glistening right now, but it's, it's definitely glistening. Let's see if I got any more water. Come on, please. A little bit, that's- Oh, that's, that tastes so good! We completed this, but we still have all of this! <laughs> the structural integrity of this bag is gonna give out any second. Head back to the house and recoup. I'm probably gonna take a, take a quick nap first. I think I'm like- No. I become- oh, no. <coughs> I somehow managed to get from the car back to, back to the room. I mean, I'm gonna have to keep eating them or I don't know. I, I just taste they don't taste good anymore. <coughs> I'm gonna cough up a chick. So after I ate as many of those chicken nuggets as I could, I took a quick little nap in the car and by quick little nap, I fell asleep for three hours, but we're gonna- so it's basically dinner time. I thought sleeping might have helped my body, you know, digest the food, but I after- I felt like absolute shit after my nap, and I pulled it up on Google, and I realized that sleeping after you eat is the worst possible thing you could do. So if I'm gonna end off this video without having to get my stomach pumped, I'm gonna have to do this the smart way. I know for a fact that Jad's favorite food of all time is pizza, and I told him today for my video that I would get him dinner so, I, f I I shouldn't have done that. What I just did before I recorded this clip is I ordered a medium cheese pizza from Pizza Pizza with Jad's favorite dip, the cheddar jalapeno. I ordered medium because a large, he might not finish a large in one sitting, he might want to put some of it in the fridge, and a small, he might get kind of mad at me for getting him a small and want another one. Pizza is arriving soon for Jad, guys, I really hope he finishes it all, and I need your guys' help, so kick that like button down below if you- Actually, Derek, I'm not done, I have one- Okay, you guys, so I just went and grabbed the pizza from the door. The guy came to the door. I paid for the pizza. It was fantastic. I took the pizza, put it onto the counter. There was this little brown bag that came on it, and apparently I got a complimentary can of Coke, which is good because I totally forgot about getting Jad a drink. He is upstairs right now gaming in Ryan's room. I'm going to present him with the pizza. Nothing goes better than pizza and video games. You play video games for two hours and you just end up eating without even realizing it. Well, at least that happens to me all the time. It's probably why I've gained... 40 pounds since I bought a Nintendo Switch. Jed? Jed? I have a little surprise for my best friend. Your special Derek Gerard supplied dinner. What is your favorite food? Pizza. What's your favorite place to get pizza? Pizza, pizza. <laughs> True ones know what I like. Oh my god, yeah. bro. <laughs> I don't, I can't. Bro, there's no way there's nothing wrong with this pizza. So this is like leftovers from something else? No, this is a, a fresh. I just ordered this and I just got it. Bro, I need to try this just in case there's something wrong. Oh my god, okay. You can see me die on camera at least. <laughs> Bro, I'm a nice guy, okay? I'm changed! When has anybody said- DON'T that? DROP THE PIZZA! <laughs> Guys, he actually ate it. WHAT AN idiot! This is way too good to be true. I know, I know cheddar jalapeno is your favorite sauce. And you know what? I'm not even gonna leave the camera on you for that long because I just want you to chill. Really? Yes, enjoy your games. I just gave out buddies with GTA. And I also just want to- I need to hear this before I leave. Oh! oh. Bro, I have a feeling I'm gonna literally die in 30 minutes, and this is some sort of poisonous thing, but- Die from love from your friend because I love you so much! I don't know if I'll be able to finish it all, but I'll eat as much as I can, that's for sure. You need to eat the- Okay, just yeah, eat as much as you want. Alright. As much as your little heart desires. There's nothing wrong You're with the so pizza! Weird. That's not why- Dear our Heavenly Father, please- if you are actually out there and there's somebody living in the sky who controls what goes on on Earth and everything and Elon Musk is wrong and everybody else is not right, please! It has been two hours since I gave Jad the pizza, so if I go up there and there's something left in his pizza box, that is definitely his leftovers, so let's go and check the last meal and the leftovers for the last time. <sighs> Papa, please! I'll, I'll, I'll buy a thousand dollar gift card. Who's the little full boy in this room? To be honest, that feels amazing. If this is the way I go, comment down below. Oh my. Jam, I miss you. Did it taste weird? But 
No, it tasted very cheesy and delicious. You probably ate the whole thing, right? Oh, I did dust every single slice. I, I will take it away from, from you because that's just... Bro, what? No, 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 this is bad. This is, this is not good. Um, Dan says pizza is his favorite food, but I picked up the box and there's something inside this box for some reason. It's all the crust. Oh, eight crusts. You use all the have enough sauce for maybe one dip. Did you leave me some pop? There must be a little bit of. <laughs> There's one sip! What is the one time I think I have a foolproof plan? It blows up in my face, and now for dinner I have to eat eight pizza crusts! The hell's the plural? Doesn't matter. And so to end off the video, Derek sat down and started to eat his pizza crusts. And I would like to thank you guys so much just for watching this video and sticking around with Derek to the very end. What he doesn't know is that he still has all those nuggets. Uh, I hope he's really not forgetting. Derek, I hope you didn't forget about the nuggets, buddy. Yeah, they're right down. <laughs> so he should have picked those up. Start munching on those too, buddy, because the D Squad will not let you get away without finishing everything. And if you like the hoodie that Derek was wearing in this video, be on the lookout because new merch is on the way. I love you guys so much. Always remember the motto of do good, die great, and I will see you very soon. All right. Bye. Next up, we got how do I know that my lover is the right one for me. They make you smile when you're down. They make you cheer when you're down. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like a card from like Shoppers Drug Mart.